I was afflicted with many ordeals that I cannot explain them in details. Yes. Certainly. One translation of the meaning of the Prophet saying, May Allah bless him and grant him peace, is. Whoever prays Salat al-Fajr, and then he keeps in remembrance, Dikr, of Allah till the sunrise. Afterwards he prays al-Duha, two supererogatory rakas. He is gifted the full reward of Hajj and Umrah. Complete complete complete. So, you pray al-Fajr, and then you state to be in the remembrance of Allah. And the noblest kinds of remembrance of Allah is to recite the Quran. When the sun shines, you wait till the late six to seven minutes of, it's shining and then you pray two rakas. You get the reward of Hajj and Umrah. And another thing. All your sins and faults will be wiped out and removed. And Allah will grant you with good rewards instead of the bad ones. Compare between this person and another one, a preacher like us. Once he prays al Fajir. He says, I am tired, I stayed awake last night. He directly jumps into his bed and falls in deep sleep. This is real. O oh brothers, a principle states, whoever loves something, he loves to repeatedly remember it. Do you love Allah? If you truly love Allah, you should numerously remember Him. And if you do not like to remember Him, so you do not love Him. Does any human know his Creator, but his heart does not love Him? Can this happen? Does such an example exist? Is it possible? When you know Allah, and you know your servitude to Him, you feel how He is merciful and compassionate to you and his decency towards you, his bounties and messages of love that he sends to you. Won't you love him? So if you profoundly love him, you should repeatedly remember him.